Is the media motivated by a liberal bias? Or is it just right-wing paranoia? Stay tuned. with the former CBS and Associated Press correspondent Murray Fromson. We asked Professor Fromson to rebut some of the criticisms of the press and major media made by Brent Bozell, the founder and president of the Media Research Center. Professor Fromson has been a world-class journalist for decades, working with the likes of Walter Cronkite, Eric Severide, and Dan Rather. He is currently a professor of journalism at the prestigious USC Annenberg School of Communications, where he is molding and inspiring journalists of the future. We asked Professor Fromson for his opinion as to why the United States goes to war, whether in Korea, Vietnam, or now in Iraq. Specifically, we asked, where does the pressure come from? I, I don't think it's pressure so much, I think, is it, frankly speaking, is ignorance, misinformation, assumptions about what we are capable of doing, uh, whether we can exert our will and our sense of values on other societies. And having spent so much of my life abroad, uh, I have to tell you, I just think that's wishful thinking. It isn't going to happen. You're not going to bring democracy to Iraq, and not at least in our lifetime. Yes, maybe a constitution has been voted on by this parliament in Baghdad. It's not the constitution that counts. That's a piece of paper. It's the execution of it, the protection of it. How do we know who's going to enforce the constitution, the rights of women, the right to vote, the right of free press, uh, the kinds of things we value in this country? I don't think that's going to happen very soon, and certainly not in our lifetime. And no matter how many troops you send to Iraq, that's not going to help either. And now there is the controversy about Valerie Plame, the CIA operative. According to many media pundits, Ms. Plame was revealed as a covert CIA operative as retribution for her husband's stance against President Bush. We recently interviewed Brent Bozell from the Media Research Center. Listen to whom he claimed revealed Ms. Plame's status as a covert agent. Here's the clip and Professor Fromson's response. The very first entity to report that Valerie Plain was a CIA operative was not Bob Novak, was not Time Magazine. It was The Nation Magazine, a liberal organization. The very first person or entity to report her as a CIA operative. But you haven't seen that in the news, have you? And that's fact. Have you checked on that to see whether or not it appeared in the Nation magazine? I, I must confess to you, I, I don't know. Uh, and of course, but that's a, that's a, a tactic of all, of all special interest groups. They always have mounds of information they can throw at you, and those of you on the those of us on the other side mm -hmm. don't have that information in front of us, and so we're, we look like idiots when we don't respond exactly to what their accusations are. The fact of the matter is, I don't know whether it was in the nation. I tried to find out, and I could not. Uh, I find it kind of questionable that that actually appeared there, because I think that would have made news. It would have been, there would have been a follow-up. It was the blogging community that first exposed the fact that the documents used to support the CBS Dan Rather news story about President Bush's military records were forgeries. We asked Professor Fromson if the Internet in general and bloggers in specific are becoming the media watchdogs and will serve to keep the news reporters from falsifying stories in the future. The problem we have for blogging is a lot of people are, are blogging who don't have any journalistic training and uh, who, uh, whose reliability is suspect. Would you say that Not the everybody. media or the uh, journalists in general are ideologues? No, I don't believe that. I never ever believed that. Well, we have a point of view. That doesn't make us ideologues. Mm -hmm. We have a point of view, but we also know that if you've been trained properly, and that's why I made the distinction between the media and journalism. I think in journalism we've been trained to know how to control your emotions and your beliefs. Mr. Bozell also made an interesting distinction between reporters and journalists. Listen here. Why is it that reporters don't call themselves reporters anymore? Have you noticed that? Everyone's a journalist. No one's a reporter. A reporter reports. Now, journalists can opine. A journalist can analyze. What is the difference between a reporter and a journalist? 
<laughs> I don't know. At the report, it's inter- they're, they interact with each other. The same Why thing. Why does the public perceive there is a bias in the media? Well, I don't know that the public perceives that. I know that the right wing perceives that, and they say the people say that. But I don't see any evidence of that because the polling most late, lightly shows there's a there's a great support and belief in the in the way the American press does its job. What what is wrong with being left? That's what I want to know. Well, that's a good question. Look at this is still a hangover from the McCarthy period, from the hearings in the House on American Activities Committee with J. Parnell Thomas, who was the House of Representatives man, that Thomas, who later went to jail, by the way. Uh, this is a, the Martin Dyes Committee, McCarthy, uh, the whole hunt for communists, pro-communists, socialists, liberals, lefties, as if there's something unpatriotic about Americans who express a point of view that's different from the existing policy of a government. The intimation that somebody, somehow people on the left are unpatriotic, people who are liberal are unpatriotic. I think that's a, just a gross misunderstanding and misrepresentation of the reality of what people really think and see and do. The beauty of this country is that government does serve a purpose. Government helps to balance out the unevenness of people who can't make it. And what makes our society so wonderful, and our democracy so strong, is that we do have the ability to make changes. Yes, they don't come there are up. a lot of things that the hurricane and Katrina showed us about the disenfranchised or the people who have less. And those of us who have more should feel proud of the possibility that we can help people like that. And only government can do that. What is that it? Is it the role of government that is at at the heart of the debate between right and left? The government isn't some alien appendage out there. The government is us. We elected them. Do you think the people feel that the government is us, is them? I'm not sure they understand it. it because there's this drumbeat led by Mr. Bozell and some of his friends about the government. Well, they like the government when it does things for them. They don't like the government when it does things they don't like. Overall quality of journalism among major newspapers, these are newspapers, not television. I came up with a better feeling about the quality of uh, journalism than I think I had even before. And the fact of the matter is, we really have to make a delineation between journalism and the media. The media are an awful lot of motor mouths running around there on, on bl- in blogs and on cable television and so forth, expressing their point of view, which they're entitled to, a free country. But that doesn't mean you have to take them seriously. It doesn't mean you have to believe everything they say. As you can see, full disclosure is not in the business of distorting the news. We're not in the business of trying to convince our viewers, only to inform them. We're a non-profit educational organization. We provide the platform and the vehicle where you can hear the various perspectives. It's up to you, the viewers, to determine what is right and what is wrong. If you want Full Disclosure to continue to shine the light of truth on important issues that the mainstream media just won't do, then we need your support. There are so many important issues facing our communities, our state, and our nation. And your tax-deductible contribution can help us get the word out to continue informing the public. You are invited to join the Friends of Full Disclosure. Your support will help assure that we can reach more and more people and improve the production quality of our programs. All you have to do is send us the much-needed support using PayPal. Just click on the link below and join at whatever level you can afford. Our goal is government accountability. When the people are informed on the issues, then the people in government must do what is right, because they know we're watching. Together we can make a difference, but we need your support to continue bringing you the news behind the news. Please contribute what you can. Thank you.